Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a full review video on the official MyUI ice cream sandwich ROM on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Uh, this ROM does have 4G working now, so you still have WiMAX going on, so pretty much everything does work. Um, you're going to get uh, text messages, picture messages, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, mobile data. Everything should be working just fine. You might run into a couple bugs here and there, but uh, overall this should be a stable experience and you're going to definitely like it. Uh, My UI ROM is pretty cool. Um, it is a Chinese-based ROM, so it is ported over to our devices. Thankfully it was open sourced, so now we can get 4G working. But uh, right away, you'll see it is uh, a bit of a different style to it. Um, you'll, you'll see different icon style and such. Uh, lock screen wise, it's got a very cool lock screen. You'll see you got this button right here. You press it, you got options to go to your dialer, your camera, your messages, or unlock. So you have a bunch of different options. I believe you can swipe down notification bar. I guess not while you're in a lock screen, you cannot swipe down notification bar, but you pull it down to unlock it. It unlocks it right away, of course. You can double tap on your lock screen and you'll see you got a play button and a back and forward button to mess with uh, music. So you have music controls. All you have to do is double tap on that, uh, on that unlock button and it switches to your music controls. You can skip, you can play, you can pause, or you can press on the button again and unlock your phone. So very cool lock screen there. Uh, a bunch of options going on. Uh, launcher wise, you have this My UI launcher. It does not have an app drawer. Um, of course, you can install Apex Launcher or any other type of Go launcher from the marketplace if you would like an app drawer. You don't have to use this launcher. This launcher does have some settings, so let's go into launcher settings. Uh, you'll see that it has transition effects, wallpaper scroll type, keep in memory icon shadow. So, I mean, you have a few transition effects. Let's try 3D cube. It's just a random one I picked. So, you'll see now it has a 3D cube transition effect. Of course, you can choose whichever effect you like. So very cool there. Um, no app drawer, so all your apps are on your home screen. You do have folder options. You'll see I have a tools folder already made, a bunch of different tools, Torch, Calculator. I mean, uh, you got a bunch of different options. So um, very cool there. Messaging application, you got a very cool messaging app. Um, you'll see it is a bit different. You have favorites and recommended. You'll see recommended is all in Chinese, so haven't gotten rid of that yet. But we can tap new message. It, we can send it to someone. You'll see you have the stock ice cream sandwich cal uh, keyboard. So let's text Google 466453, and we will say hi to Google. So hi. Um, and send that. You'll notice that it is different themed. You got a different style to it. So very cool there. Uh, message has sent, so they should reply soon enough um, whenever they feel like it, I guess. But uh, but yeah. So um, overall, it's 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 definitely very smooth. I'm I'm very impressed with this. I do want to give a shout out to uh, Jay After Dark, TCP, and Marcus Sant for getting this ROM ported over for us, and anyone else involved. Um, they did a very nice job, that's for sure. But let's go ahead and check out the dialer. So here's the dialer. We can make a test call. A lot of people like to see what it looks like in call. So let's go ahead and check it out. Whoop. Let's go ahead and make a test call. Nice transition effect there after we made the call. So this is what it looks like. You have tools. You have speakerphone and keyboard. So here's our tools. Mute, record, contact, add call, note. So we have a bunch of tools. We have keyboard. It looks uh, the call ended. So there you have it there. Um, but yeah, that would be our test call. It uh, you'll see those very cool transition effects. I really like that. Uh, it's very neat. You'll see that Google has texted me back. I will open it on up. So there's our text messaging application. Um, you'll notice when I pulled it down before, it went straight to our notifications. When you have a notification, it will uh, automatically go to that notifications. When you don't, it will go to our toggles. You can swipe back and forth in between the two. Um, if you'd like to, of course, you got many different ones, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, um, you got more. So you got a bunch of different toggle options, of course. So let's go ahead and turn on GPS. I, I, I just kind of want to show you something. When I go to the Maps application, uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. Just some more transition things. So when I pull down this, you'll see searching for GPS. You'll see when I open it on up, it has that transition effect, and I can go between the two, and you'll see it pops open one and the other. So it's just overall really smooth and very cool that those transition effects are inside this ROM. It works great. Um, I'm highly impressed. It's great that WiMAX is working. I actually tested it out myself. Uh, I was in a 4G area and I did get connected and it, data was working just fine. So um, let's go ahead and hop into the settings. You'll see I'm going to go to About Phone and you'll see you've got the My UI ROM, dual core 1.2 gigahertz, gives you information about the ROM and such, Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich, of course. 
Uh, you'll see you have common settings and full settings. You can swipe between the two or tap between the two. It's up to you. But uh, common settings include Wi-Fi, brightness, Bluetooth, ringtones, accounts and sync. So you got all those common ones. And then you have your full settings where it's obviously just like normal mobile networks, more settings, um, etc. So you've got all these different settings in here, which is pretty much the standard uh, ice cream sandwich ones, except you got status bar settings going on here. You can have compact or page. So when you have compact, and pull it down it'll obviously reload the system UI but you'll see they're down at the bottom now and you can scroll them horizontally so you don't have two pages to flip between you only have this one page notifications will be above it and your toggles are at the bottom I prefer to have the separate page for the toggles just a personal preference so um, you can customize the toggles position you can change which ones are on and which ones aren't so uh, you can change that you can change uh, notifications as well you can hide notifications um, a bunch of different options as well, battery indicator style, so you can have graphical, you can have percentage, so you'll see inside that uh, image there's a percentage now. You can also have top bar instead. So up at the top you'll see I've got a full green bar, my battery is at 96%, so it's pretty much almost full, so it's up to you which battery icon you do like. Um, I also, as a lot of you guys know with the My UI ROM, there is a themes application, so you'll see themes right here. Um, it is a bit interesting because since Ice Cream Sandwich My UI has been coming out, you will see some themes not work, some will cause reboots, so you're going to have to be careful with this. What I did was I went to online themes and I went to latest, so I assume the latest ones are going to be all Ice Cream Sandwich updated. They might not. I went ahead and downloaded the Vapor Ice one. I'm going to try it out. No idea if it's going to work, so you're going to have to really be careful with these themes. So I'm hoping it's going to work. Uh, so let's go ahead and just apply this theme. I downloaded it. Themes do take a bit of time depending on your data connection to download. Um, so it says successfully applied. I don't see any changes at all. Let's go ahead and see. So we do have changes in the applications, of course. All of these applications icons have been changed. Looks like up the status bar it hasn't been changed, but I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot. So I press and hold the menu button. I have a reboot option. So I select reboot, normal, recover your bootloader. I'm going to hit a normal reboot. So I'm going to reboot the device. You'll see it says restarting, and I'm going to see if the theme has changed at all. Alright, so just went ahead and rebooted. It does not look like it changed anything up at the top here in our status bar, but uh, these icons did change, so of course you're going to have to be careful, as I said, with messing with these themes because some of them aren't compatible with Ice Cream Sandwich, so of course you got to be careful. But let's go into the camera application. It works well. It is the Ice Cream Sandwich themed style ice cream uh, camera application, so we can take a picture. Of course, we got all our basic settings and such as well, so very nice there. Um, it looks like our launcher does rotate. Uh, I believe it's a launcher setting that you can have auto rotate on. But uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, theme wise, you can actually, if you find one that does work, you can actually customize it. So you go to the Vapor Ice one, and I believe you could select this down here, and you can choose which ones that you want to have applied or not. So of course, you can have certain ones applied and certain ones not applied. Um, so there you have it there. That's in regards to themes. Of course, I went to online latest and found vapor ice there And I assumed that it was ice cream sandwich. That was a bit risky for me So of course just be careful when applying any of these themes again I don't know if they'll work or not. So if I tap on one, let's say black Android I don't know if this is gingerbread based or not You'll see it was modified on 420, so I don't know if this is going to be gingerbread or not. So uh, be careful, of course, when applying any themes whatsoever. I don't even know if this theme was supposed to work or not, but it seems like it did. But uh, you'll see it uh, edited. It did not edit any of the applications. Some of them will. Let's go ahead and go into the browser. The browser is great. I do really like it. So we can load up a page. Here's Google.com. I'm on Wi-Fi, so that's why it's going decently quick. You have a bunch of tab different options. You can add a new tab. So we add a new tab, and let's go ahead and load up Wikipedia. And you'll see we have two tabs going now. So we've got Google and Wikipedia. If I want to exit out of the Google one, I can flick it up. And there you go, I'm back into Wikipedia. Of course, you can add a new tab again. You can add another new tab. You can add another one. Here's a bunch of different tabs going on here. So flick them up, you can hit the X. So uh, overall, I do really like this uh, browser. Another reason I like it is because you can hit menu and hit exit and exit out of the browser. I do really like that option to be able to do so. Um, so there's that. Uh, press and hold the home button. You've got your recent apps running apps list, of course. So here you go. You've got all these different options. You got your camera, any app you've opened up. 
you can of course swipe them away. I believe you can press this clean uh, button, this paintbrush button or broom button and it'll uh, basically get rid of all of them. So let's go ahead and exit out of the browser. Of course you can flick them back and forth or you can press that button and it gets rid of all of them. So it's nice that you do have that option to do that. Um, widget wise, you can press and hold on the home screen and you'll see a bunch of widgets can pop up. So you got a bunch of different options. Reminds me of the TouchWiz launcher. But uh, you got a bunch of different options. Of course, you can add whatever widgets you'd like. So if you want a music widget, just drop it on your home screen. It looks like it takes up the whole home screen. So let's go ahead and add that. And there you have it there. You got our music widget going on on that page. I believe you can pinch in and all of them will show. I guess not. It looks like uh, pinching in brings up your widgets. So you can go through your home pages and add different widgets and such. So very cool launcher, um, nice options. You have a 4G toggle there that you can turn on and off if you like 4G. If you use 4G, I'm one that really doesn't because I'm not really in a 4G area. So uh, there you have it there, nice music application if I can find it. Let's go ahead and go to the music application. Uh, very nice, you've got all songs, artists, albums, of course. So you can go to all your songs, you've got a whole list of them. I have a bunch of different ones on here, of course. So um, there you have it there. It's actually really cool. I do like the My UI music application going on. So overall, a very nice ROM. I've had no issues whatsoever yet. So definitely be sure to check it out. I will uh, link how to in the description of the video. But let me know what you think of this ROM. Be sure to leave a comment. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.